building jumping from here could be really, really, really fun. All right, our next comic is Michael Williams. Mike, yeah, yeah. How's it going, folks? It's great to be back here, as always. Oh man, let's get into this. Anyone ever walked into a freshness and thought you might have walked into a meth lab on accident? <laughs> well, they're definitely cooking something. Let's see what this cheeseburger with tartar sauce is about. <laughs> All the servers are smoking, and I don't mean good looking. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't ask for the hot plate. It costs $40, and it's definitely not what you think. How about this uh, this uh, presidential election? It's an election year. The Democratic race is heating up. How about Pete Buttigieg? Give it up for him. <laughs> Pete Buttigieg, the first openly gay presidential candidate. Kudos for him for coming out and being the first openly gay presidential candidate. Also, kudos for America for being progressive enough that someone feels comfortable with being the first openly gay presidential candidate. But now that the race is starting to heat up between Bernie Sanders and Michael Bloomberg, you think old Buttigieg has a target on his back? <laughs> ah, slow burn, you got it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's an election year and, uh, you know, I learned about this story on NPR. I just love listening to NPR but they're having their quarterly fun drop. I hate their fun drop. I'm trying to listen to politics, and I gotta hear the Mary Ann Zelestic try to sell me a sustaining membership. <laughs> you know they give you gifts with your sustaining membership? <laughs> you know, you, you get like a tote bag, or a coffee mug, or a shopping bag. Those gifts all suck, they all suck. Where's the gifts like a pic of Mary Ann Zelestic's tits? Where are those gifts at? How about a dick pic from Jay Hanselman? That'd be worth my sustaining membership. Or a DVD from Rick Steve entitled Europe Through the Back Door. How about the head coach of FC Cincinnati? How about they got? Didn't coach a single game of soccer this season. Part of with the team amidst some allegations of racism. Apparently, he was singing along to rap songs in the locker room around players of color using the N-word. Unfortunately for him, the name of the song was, I can't stand these goddamn N-words. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard all these stories on the NPR. It's an election year. Everybody's ganging up on Donald Trump. Everybody's getting behind Donald Trump. Say what you will about Donald Trump. You know, he just beat that impeachment trial. When I first heard he was getting impeached, I said, good for him. I've been looking for peach all weekend. Ain't that turn. <laughs> you know, Donald Trump... In all accounts, he's super rich, but he's not more than a regular guy. And if Donald Trump is guilty of anything, it's just wanting to be a powerful man. And if you can have any and everything that you ever possibly wanted, what is the one thing you could possibly want more of? It's more power, right? But what is the greatest show to other people that you are more powerful than them? It's having your dick in another rich man's mouth. There is no greater show of power than having another rich man suck your cock. All right, that Bob, but that was way more fun for me. <laughs> You've all been great. I'm going to end it right there. I have been Michael Williams. Give it up for your host. Let's get Michael Lesky back up here.